What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. And today, I have a tool review for you. It is the Skill Saw uh, Southpaw is what they call it. It's a left-handed skill saw that I'm not left-handed, but they call it the Southpaw because it's supposed to be left-handed, but I prefer the blade to be on the left, so I got this one. And this thing has cut a lot of wood for me the last couple of years. I got it about two years ago. I love this thing. I am tired as hell. I've been building a raised garden box with a fence incorporated into it. A very large one in my yard. And uh, so I've been using this a bunch today. And I figured it would be a good time to do a review on this. Um, since my channel is called Real World Tool Reviews and all. Uh, you can see that I've been using this thing. The blade, the nice Diablo blade, has some paint worn off of it. You know, I see a lot of these reviews of skill saws on YouTube that it's like, okay, obviously you haven't cut any wood with this. I mean, maybe you put on a new blade just for the video. I don't know. Maybe they did. But this thing is really a great skill saw. It is the brand skill saw, so you know it's good. I, I, I like blade left saws. Like, I really love my battery operated one. Um, but I didn't want to get the, the skill saw, you know, the original rear handle skill saw. I just don't need that. It's, it's too big and bulky for me. I mean, I'm not building houses. Like, I, I do small projects mostly. So, but I do need, I needed, everybody needs a corded skill saw like i don't care you i mean the they make some great battery powered saws now uh they're real expensive and i don't need one i have my little six and a six and a half inch saw that's awesome for that i use all the time but when i need to just you know build something cut a bunch of wood i use this and uh a couple things that i love about this one is it's got a long cord attached to it that is handy cheaper ones don't come with as long of a cord as this and it's a real nice cord too it's like it doesn't get you can tell it's going to hold up it's got real good coating on it um it has a real good handle like it's just a simple good feeling handle it's all this is all magnesium this whole the uh shoe and this guard and everything this is all magnesium there's very little plastic on this saw which is really important to me i i have broken the little plastic tabs and stuff that come on these kinds of saws like i've had cheaper ones and and broken them um it's light for a corded skill saw 15 this is a 15 amp corded skill saw uh the blades on the left and that's just what i prefer it's the south paul a lot of people love the blade right ones and if you're used to that great i've I, i've used them plenty of times and i like them but i like to just look at the blade you know with use it with my right hand and you look at the blade uh it's got a really great see if i can get this get the right angle to show you this on camera but it's got good markings right here for like three quarter half inch quarter inch plywood and then uh you can pop it like that to unlock it and you know two by material max they're real visible markings and that's you know it, like there's just a lot of things about this saw that make it better these little features make it better than a lot of cheap skill saws i've had a couple cheap ones and when i got this one i was like wow i'm so glad i got this it's uh it's just awesome this trigger you don't have to press any extra buttons with your thumb or something this is just a regular trigger that's another thing that a lot of saws have that i hate uh, it's got a good blade wrench storage, you know, 
it's got the same kind of shitty little wrench that every skill saw comes with but it slides in here and locks in here good and it won't come out like it's in there solid and i don't feel like i'm gonna lose it um it's got the same way this adjustment is good this adjustment down here for the uh bevel cuts is also good the way this flips up caked up with sawdust right now but flip that up and it's got good solid markings very visible angle marks uh and that is really helpful it doesn't have it does have a positive stop on 45 which is about the only thing i really use bevel wise and uh it's accurate this way and it stops at 45, which is cool. And it's adjustable. But that's a that's a metal tab. I have broken these tabs that are, that are plastic on every saw I've ever had other than this one because this is the only one I've had that has metal ones. So, I think that's about all the features that I wanted to show you um, these markings right here that you use to line up. Uh, they're real nice and visible, and they they were nice enough to paint in them. You know, that's that's nice of them. Uh, it's a very powerful motor. It's a really good saw. I will say it it doesn't have like a ton of power that just blows you away. Like I'm sure that the the bigger rear handle one has more power than this one. This one will stall out sometimes, or like the the motor will keep going, but the blade will stop. Uh, you know, like a, it's got like a, it's, it's anti-kickback or something. Um, it will sometimes bind up if it hits a knot in a, you know, like I was cutting uh, some treated two by tens today and it hit a, a knot or two, and I just had to go real slow with it because it'll bind up a little bit. I mean, it's not it's not a monster, but if you're like a, this saw I believe was maybe $130 when I bought it. If you're a homeowner and you you like to seriously work on your house, you know, you want to build a deck maybe, you want to do what I'm doing, build a, a raised bed garden box with a fence around it, build a fence. Uh, this is a great option for a circular saw. So I just wanted to do a little review on it uh, because I really love it. And I have, I'm qualified to talk about this tool. I've used it a lot and have had great results. So uh, that's my skill saw. And uh, thanks for watching. If you, uh, if you have, I've, I've had a couple different ones. If you've, got a, if you've got a circular saw that you like, leave it in the comments. Um, let me know what you guys think. This is one of the tools that I think every, every American man who owns a house should own one of these saws. Um, and this is mine. I really love it. So uh, thank you as always for tuning into the channel.